How do you make selections in Photoshop with the Selection Brush tool? What is the Selection Brush tool? Well, this is a new tool in Photoshop that uses painting instead of the traditional selection tools. This can be really great for generative fill and other intuitive ways of selecting to add objects or to remove objects with a painting motion rather than something more like the pen tool or the quick selection tool that uses marching ants and can be hard to see. Where is the selection brush tool in Photoshop? It's under the lasso tool. So if you click and hold on the lasso tool, you can also press shift L to cycle through all the lasso tools. Once you have the selection brush tool selected, you're ready to start painting. Simply paint on your canvas and it'll make a selection. If I switch to another selection tool, it becomes marching ants. If I go back to the selection brush tool in Photoshop, I still get this painted edge. Let's go ahead and look up at the top for the options. Here, there's a choice between add and subtract. You can also use alt or option on your keyboard to toggle. You can change the opacity. In addition, you can also feather the edge. This is a really powerful feature. So if I take this down and now I start painting, I have a much softer edge put that down to almost nothing. And I have this nice soft edge, but it is actually a selection. So even though this selection has just the marching ants, it has a feathered edge. So this is a really great feature of the selection brush tool. To deselect, just press Control D to deselect. To change your brush size, use the bracket keys on your keyboard. Here I have a large selection painted. If I hold the Alt or Option key, I can take away from that selection. This is a little bit more clumsy than some of the other precise selection tools such as Quick Select or the Pen tool, but it's meant for quick, intuitive selection and painting. One thing you can use it for is to quickly remove objects with generative fill. So for example, say I wanted to remove this seam ripper. I could just lower my brush size down, paint over the seam ripper, click Generative Fill, and then generate, then Photoshop removes that with the generative fill. And it puts it right inside a layer mask. If I look over here at this part of the screen, you can see that it is using this as a layer mask and everything is linked together. So that is a really great way for using the selection brush tool with Adobe Photoshop and generative fill for quick, intuitive selections. Hopefully this helps you use the Selection Brush tool in Photoshop.